hey guys welcome back to our channel logic to code so in this video i'll be going to solve three sum problem so in this problem you have given a array and you need to return all the triplets whose sum is going to be zero and one more condition is that the there should not be any duplicate triplets in the answer so you just have to remove the redundant triplets right so for this array there are two unique triplets whose sum is going to be zero right so in this case the sum is zero and here is also the sum is zero so how we are going to approach this problem so the first thing that i am going to tell you is that this particular problem is an extension of two sum problem where you have given an array and you need to find two numbers whose sum is going to be zero so in that case you are using two pointer approach so similarly we are going to here use two pointer approach so as we need to find a triplet a plus b plus c is equals to zero so if i fix a then the problem reduces to find b plus c is equals to zero which internally means that we have to use two pointer approach right so i'll be explaining the logic with the code itself so be with me so as i have to return the result as vector of vector so let me make a vector of vector so in which i can add all the all the triplets right so this would be our result so at the end i'll be going to return this result right so now as i need to reduce this three sum problem to two sum problem so for reducing three sum to two sum i need to fix one variable and then for the remaining two variables i need to apply this two sum or two pointer approach so i can go up to n minus two right uh, because so let me define j j be what just the next element and for two pointer approach we are uh, initializing two pointer one at the front and one at the end so for this the last point would be n minus one right so I am fixing i at zero, and then we need to find like some j and some k such that i plus j, nums of i plus nums of j plus nums of k is equals to zero. Right? So now what I can do is so I be i less than minus two, right? So one thing that uh, I am going to tell you now is that so in first we'll try to find all the triplets uh, including the redundant one and at the end we'll see how we can remove the redundant one right so for that what i'll do is that so i'll just write the two pointer approach so when j less than k so if nums of i plus nums of j plus nums of k is equals equals to zero so in that case what i will do is i will just push back this sums of i nums of j nums of k in the result right because we get a triplet whose sum is zero right and if i find one triplet so we just need to move j and k both right so i will j will be incremented and k will be incremented so here let me just define what is n so n is nums dot size right so if this is not equals to zero so then there are two cases so it would be either greater than zero or less than zero so let's say if it is greater than zero then which pointers you should remove so in that case to make this sum to be zero we need to decrement k right because as there is sorted so if we decrement k so the value of this term would decrease and there is a chance that this sum can become equals to zero right so in this case we will just decrement k and the last case would be if this is already less than zero so in that case we need to increment to make it zero right so i'll do j plus plus right so this is pretty much the code for 
all the triplets like in, in this code you can find all the triplets but we need to just remove the duplicate triplets from this solution right so how we are going to remove this duplicate triplets from this solution so the first thing let me show you one test case so let's say this is the input test case given to this code so when i is here right so the j and k will be moving like this from here to here right so when one size here so let me just uh, traverse you through one iteration so j would be here and the k, k will be at the end right k will be here so k will be at the end so in that case we just minus 4 plus minus 4 plus 3 which essentially is minus 5 so the sum is not equals to 0 in fact the sum is less than 0 so in that case we will increment j so j will move ahead one step so j will come to here right so now the sum is 0 right minus 4 plus 1 plus 3 is 0 so in that case so in i am going to push this minus 4 1 3 into our result right but after that we just increment our j and also decrement our k right so what what we see here is that we find uh, another uh, another tree plate whose sum is going to zero so j will move here so in this case we'll get minus four plus two plus two is zero right so we'll add this to this triplet also in our result right so again j and k will move ahead right so j will go to here and k will come one step backward right so k will come here right but the thing is that as you can see here so now i am going to get a duplicate triplet which i already have in our result but if you notice this why this duplicate triplet triplet is coming in in the picture is because once we move j forward and k backward we are getting exactly the same element right so and we don't want to happen this so how can uh, remove this condition so what i'll do is that i'll write one condition over here so while j plus one less than k minus one and nums of i sorry nums of j is equals equals to nums of j plus one and nums of k is equals equals to nums of k minus one right so if this is the case so in that case we know so if you, even if you move our j and k forward so in that case we are going to get a triplet which already i had right so in that case we will just so move j and k right so now we remove this duplicate triplets but there is one more case where we can get this duplicate triplet so what is that so now let's see one more case so once i is fixed here we find all the jco combination and we get these these two tri triplets as in our result variable so now let's move i to one step ahead so now I'll be incremented, so I'll be here, right? So it's right. But you notice here is that so if I goes to its next position, but the value at next position is same, right? So now we are going to same set of combinations. So in this iteration, we are also going to get these two as these two triplets in our result, right? So this could also cause to have a duplicate triplet in our answer so how we are going to remove this so that's pretty easy so if we move i forward and if we get the same element so in that case we don't have to deal with this jk pointer right so it's, we are uh, just going to skip that so if i greater than zero and nums of i is equals equals to nums of i minus one so we know that even if you go with this i we are going to get 
a triplet which already I have in my result vector so just continue from here right so continue right and these are the only two condition which can cause a duplicate triplet so now I already remove that so now this code should work fine right so let me just run and submit this code so it's giving empty so why is this case so let me just check it So while j less than k, if this sum equals to 0, then we'll just push back these 3, right? And if j plus 1 less than k minus 1, and this is the case. So in that case, we know that there is going to be a duplicate triplet. So I just increment that. And after that, we'll increment one more times to get a different set of triplets and if the sum is greater than 0 in that case we just want to reduce so we'll decrement k and in if this is less than 0 so in that, in that case we'll just increment j right so I'm not sure why why this is giving So it's giving empty right so let me check for I'm making some mistake so Pushing nums of i, j, and k, and also I'll increment the j and decrement k. Right. Okay. The thing that I had didn't is to sort this. Sort this vector, right? So for applying two pointer approach, we first need to sort this. Only then we can claim this all, right? So sorry for that. So just sort this and then everything should work. Right? So now let me just run this. So yes, so let me just submit this. So yes, it got accepted. So the logic is pretty easy. So if you have any doubt, just repeat this video and you'll be able to understand this. So that's it for this video. If you like our content, make sure to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. Thank you. Have a nice day.